do a smoked old fashioned using a kit that I purchased from Eight Settlers. Today is meant to support small business. And with all of these fantastic gift ideas, how could you go wrong? Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Utah Spirit Trail Cocktail Videos. My name is Charles, and today we're going to do a smoked old fashioned using a kit that I purchased from Eight Settlers. Pretty cool, huh? Nice little box. And this is all the stuff that, you can, that comes inside. Get a glass. The smoking top, this wood chips, and I chose, they allow you to choose. So I chose maple and cherry, some sugar cubes, and a torch that we're gonna use to do the smoking. So let's get after it. So this is gonna be a standard old fashioned as far as the mix goes. So we're gonna do two ounces of bourbon and in keeping with the eight settlers Kind of theme that we have going on. I've chosen the Devil's Gate bourbon whiskey. So two ounces of the bourbon. And again this is just your standard old-fashioned cocktail. Two ounces. And it calls for three dashes of Angostura bitters, but because I have a Japanese style horse spout, it's going to take just about one more. That was a little bit heavy, so I'll stay with that. Okay, then we had sugar cubes that came in the kit. As we get the glass out, huh? It's a really cool glass too, by the way. Nice little cork top. It's only one sugar cube. Let's put that back in the kit. And then I'm gonna mash it up with my stir spoon, but it's got a little flat end so I can now smash up the sugar a little bit before we add ice. We're gonna add a little bit of ice, and you know what? I'm gonna get a different spoon to my handy dandy iWest stir spoon. And we're gonna add some ice and stir it around about eight to 10 seconds. Until the outside of the glass gets good and chilled. That's kind of a way to know. So the Eight Settlers gift box would be a great idea to give somebody that's kind of into cocktails, going old fashions, and maybe kind of would want to kick it up a little bit by adding the smoke to it. The smoking isn't necessarily a new thing in the cocktail world, but it is starting to gain traction with kind of the home connoisseurs. And it was really neat to see Eight Settlers kind of put a kit together. Because you used to have to only get that online. So. Okay. So I can start to feel the outside of the glass get good and chilled. That's probably a little more than eight, 10 seconds. But. Yeah. So 
The next thing we have to do is grab my strainer, my Hawthorne strainer that's all the way over there, which is typical, honestly. And we're gonna put a chunk of clear ice in the glass and then pour it over the clear ice. Good, the cool eight settlers glass there. I'm gonna grab my tongs and my chunk of ice. Put it in there. Put my Hawthorne strainer. And again, we're just going to strain it over the ice. Okay, we're just going to put that to the side and grab an orange peel. Actually, the next step is actually to smoke it. So this is where we get to play with toys. So I am going to use cherry this time, cherry wood. And my little torch. Oop, looks like a champ. You just put the topper over the top of the glass so there's no concave or anything. You just make sure it's centered over the glass. And inside, there's a uh, wire mesh right inside there. I don't know if you can see that. You know, right here is wire mesh. And that way, it keeps the wood chips from falling in, obviously. Ooh, that smells amazing. So we're just gonna add some wood chips into a little cup on top. And now we're going to set off my smoke detectors. You can kind of see the smoke entering the glass. It kind of fills up all the voids that's in there. It's just kind of cool looking. And most of the smoke goes straight down instead of up, which I think is really interesting. And now we're just going to put this top on it. And remove it and watch the smoke kind of rise up. And now we're going to add some orange peel. Because that's part of old fashioned. Okay, and we're just gonna take the orange peel and we're gonna express some of the oils over the cocktail. I'm gonna go around the sides with the orange peel. And that just kind of adds a little more oil to the outside and gives it just a little bit of flavor. And there you go. Smoked old fashioned. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Mmm. That is really good. Now, just as an experiment, I tried an old fashioned prior to this video, made the exact same way without smoking it, just to see if it would actually work. And it does. You can actually taste a little bit of the cherry that I didn't pick up before from the smoke. Now, keeping in mind our olfactory glands are much stronger than any of the other senses. So 
maybe my nose is tricking my mouth. Um, but I definitely taste it a little bit. Mm. That is really good. I'll have to experiment with some of the other woods and kind of get back with you on that. Um, but again, I chose the cherry and the maple for the kit. Um, so maple's next. I know that they have several different kinds. So when you go up there to the gift shop at Eight Settlers, which is located at 7321 Canyon Center Parkway in Cottonwood Heights, when you go in the door, the gift shop's right off to the right. But you're gonna to wanna to stay for a meal and definitely check out the view from the upper deck. It's beautiful. They have lots of other things that are available for sale. Um, they have some really cool shirts, some cool aprons, hoodies, you name it. They've got a variety. So it's really cool. And you can't beat these glasses, they're awesome. Thick etched, you can feel it, the edge in there. It's really nice. Sounds right. And the spirits are fantastic. So definitely go back through our library of cocktail videos and you'll find a cocktail video we did with their Green Ditch Gin. And speaking of gift ideas, I've got a couple more for you. Well, I enjoy this old fashioned. Now, I had, last time I was in Salt Lake, I stopped by a really cool place called Goose Teak, and they have a variety of different things. It's a very eclectic collection of glassware and other sundries for cocktails. They have syrups and bitters and really neat stir spoons and stirring glasses. It, it just a just a variety, um, everything your mind could imagine. It's they got it and probably a couple different kinds. Really super cool place to stop. There's a little bit of congestion caused by some construction in the neighborhood, but I went around the block twice and ended up parking right up front. So a little patience will be in a really cool store. I was able to buy this jigger and I bought the super cool cocktail glass. Up at Clearwater, which is down in Pleasant Grove, just down past Provo. Cool place, by the way. Definitely worth checking out. They've got a lot of neat spirits down there and very unique spirits. They've got these really cool tasting glasses that is meant to kind of hold like this. They've got an interesting little cutout right there. So you, it's meant to kind of do that. Kind of neat. Wine World could really get, get on board with that. It's kind of neat. And again, that's clear water down there, Pleasant Pro. Now, I had the opportunity to meet the gentleman that operates Syrup Co. And I gotta tell you, they are salt of the earth people. And they make some fantastic cocktail syrups. Here's kind of what they've got so far. Anything from cherry to vanilla. Here's a ginger. Really just Roasted jalapeno. And you don't have to use them for an alcoholic cocktail. You can use them for a non-alcoholic cocktail. In fact, they have a recipe for each kind on the bottle. Kind of neat, right? Now, Syrup Co. syrups can only be found online right now, and occasionally you'll find them at different distilleries or boutiques. But if you want to go out and support another local business, the easiest way is to go to their online shop. Sounds right. Mm. It's so good, honestly. Another cool gift idea for your home cocktail person would be these cocktail shaking tins from Beehive. They're super cool. They have them in, of course, this silver, and then they have them in brass as well. Really nice. I have yet to break a seal on these, so that's super cool. Sounds 
Outlaw has these cool flasks that you can get. Yeah, that's nice. That's sweet looking. Super cool. That's Outlaw Distillery. They're down at Murray. So if you're down there. Of course, if you're on the trail and get yourself a cool spirit trail guide, take it through that too. Good book. Whatever you want. You know it's going to come out sooner or later, right? Speaking of flasks, there's another cool flask company out there called Greg Proper. And they have glass flasks. And I've talked about these this time last year. Seriously, these things are beautiful. They come, this one is a brown leather, but they come in a black leather as well. You can also buy them with silicone sleeves. So if you're concerned about getting the leather messed up, then you can get the silicone sleeve. These things are amazing. It has a glass window, so you can see the level, right? Just gorgeous. The leather is hand-stitched. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flasks. I've got the cork in here right now, but the cork doesn't work as well at altitude, so they've included a silicone disc that goes in there. They would handle the pressure changes so it doesn't leak. So if you're going skiing, I thought of it. It also comes with a funnel that's got a little slot in it. So when you're pouring, it doesn't gurgle on you, it doesn't spit back out. Right? Just pour straight down like it should. Great packaging too, by the way. Quality all the way through. And if you want to support the trail, you just want to support the trail, right? We've got these really nice tasting glasses. It's got a logo etched in there. We've also got the Cocktail Traveler, which is a nice addition to your insulated cup collection. And this is a 10 ounce glass, so it's perfect for any kind of cocktail you mix. You want to take it out to fire pit, or in the summertime, you want to get to the beach or the dock, wherever you want to go, this thing will go with you. And it'll keep ice in it really until the cocktail is gone. Which honestly for me isn't that. But I don't have to refill ice every time I make new cocktail. Pretty nice, right? We also sell a few things that I've made with barrel staves that I got from taking apart whiskey barrels that I got from Sugar House Distillery. Okay. So this would be your Glencairn glass flight. It's like a flight board, right? Also, Sugar House has these, see how much smaller that is? Isn't that cool? It's like baby one, baby shots, baby tasting. I'll take these glasses off and I'll show you. We burned in our logo right there. Just to show, this is the actual char. And I don't know if you can see it at home, but there's a faint line right there. And that's where the whiskey is penetrated through the wood up to that level. Kind of neat, huh? So we've got the flight board. Also got a golf ball board for those people that golf a lot. Put your golf balls in there, and it's made the same way. Has the same features: the whiskey penetration line right there, the char. And again, these are all from Sugar House Distillery. I've also created some whiskey cigar caddies. So you got your whiskey glass right there, right? Or your rocks glass. And you can put your cigar right there. It's pretty neat. Again, the same features. All from Sugar House Whiskey Girls. It's so good. 
Mm. Awesome. And I also make wine candies. For those that want to support the trail, but also rather have a glass of wine. Pretty neat. Now, if you notice the wine, that's actually wine from a vineyard down in St. George. And they are part of the Silvery family. It's St. George Beverage Company that owns the vineyard, the brewery, and the distillery. And this is the wine that comes out of the vineyard. So again, and if you book your tour, or Sprinter Van tours, going down to St. George to Silver Reef is one of the options. It's just, a, it's a two stop option. And we stop at Clearwater and then we go down to Silver Reef down in St. George. It's a wonderful all day event, stop for food. It's, it's just a really good time. Everybody that's done it has had a blast. So I highly encourage you to, to book a tour as well. And that would be an excellent gift idea too. Book a tour, give it to a friend. So again, you and a bunch of friends could get together, split the cost, and it would be really a fantastic experience for a really low price. So go online, click on our Sprinter Van Tours, and get more information on all the distilleries that we go see, and they are all amazing. But it all starts right here. Pick these up at any one of the participating distilleries and start your adventure, go online, you can search your adventure there. Remember, today is meant to support small business. And with all of these fantastic gift ideas, how could you go wrong? Thanks for watching. And here's to hoping this day found you in good spirits with good spirits. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Time for another one. Do this all first.